Hey everybody, welcome back to Apocalyptic Guitars and today we're actually going to be making our very own pickup surrounds out of wood. Yes. Um, now personally I don't like pickup surrounds myself um, but in certain situations they do look good uh, and you need to have them. So uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, so let me show you what I've got so far. So far, what I have is I got a, a block of mahogany. Uh, now, this is African mahogany. And I routed out, I'm going to route out the uh, pickup ring where the pickup actually goes into, the pickup hole, <laughs> if you will. Um, so I made a kind of a makeshift template for the, the router. Um, now these edges are all straight, so uh, straight and flat like they need to be. So they're pretty much good. I have them super glued with the uh, duct tape and super glue trick. Um, I learned that from Ben at Apo uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, Ben at Crimson Guitars. So that's what we're doing now. I drilled out some holes with the uh, Forzner bit to make it easier to route out cavities that's what I do that's you know I think that's a thing with every luthier anyway so basically this is the mahogany I'm using for this but this is actually going on the guitar um, which we'll be working on now this here you probably can't see this um, but this these are the plans for the guitar build that we will be doing Yes, this will be all recorded. So, um, these pickup surrounds that we're making are actually going to be for this guitar. So, yes, we'll do. We'll be doing a full video series. Yes, of this here guitar that I'm building from scratch. Yes, it will be a master build from Apocalyptic Guitar. So, yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, that's going to be starting very soon. Uh, I'm going to be doing a reverse headstock, yes, 25.5 inch scale, either that I might do a 25 inch scale, I don't know which yet, um, I haven't really figured that out, but um, if you could see this strip down the center of the body, that there, it's going to be, that's what this piece of mahogany is going to be used for, so it's basically going to be like a, a two-tone wood. Um, series guitar if you will um, I don't know what kind of hardware I'm going to be using yet um, probably I don't know yet I don't know what color either but that'll come in time when I figure out everything and, and whatever that's what we're going to be working on uh, coming up so please stay tuned it's going to be fun yes we're going to build a guitar and it's, I'm going to show you how I build my guitars yes anyway uh, we'll pick it back up here when once the uh, super glue is all cured and we can go in with the router. All right, we're back here. Um, what we're gonna do now is route out the pickup hole in the um, the block of mahogany here. This will make it easier so we don't have to use a jigsaw um, after because uh, jigsaws are a little bit iffy. Um, so what we're gonna do now? Eye protection and hearing protection when using a loud tool you do need some protection yes seriously folks hearing protection is key to everything so we're gonna plug her in there we go now glasses are a little bit dusty <laughs> I wonder why anyway so now what we're gonna do is route so first order of business is to take a block of mahogany that's about the same uh, thickness as what you're using this is exactly the thickness because it came from the same plank of wood <laughs> basically so put that under anything that's kind of just for stability anything that's hanging way 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 off like this 
And now what we can do is bring the router in and measure out where we want it. Now, let's unscrew that. What we want is to take small passes but have the bearing right on the edge of the template. And then lock her in. And lock this in for extra stability. And here we go. We're right at, we're gonna route out now. So here we go. All right, so we got the top layer done. Now we're gonna move the router down a little bit more. And I don't need much, because the thickness of what I'm going for is not that thick, actually. It's not gonna be like a Gibson-type uh, raise on the pickup. So it's not gonna be like that high off the pickup, of the guitar body, I should say, not pickup. And here we go. So now we gotta check to see. That's plenty deep enough. Okay, so we got that. So now we're done with this. And now, see the super glue and duct tape, duct tape, masking tape trick works perfectly. Because it just comes right up and it's clean. It's clean. So, here we go. But it's also strong enough to withstand horizontal pressure, which is great. So, essentially what we got now is that there. Can you see that? Let me see if I can see through the thing here. Basically what we got there is that, right? Now, I'm going to take you to the bandsaw. This beastie right here. It's not too beastie, but, you know, it works for what I need. So now we're at the bandsaw. And we're going to do some cutouts here. Make sure we're... Make sure your height is set because you don't want to get your hand in the blade. Do not get your hand in the blade. Um, because that's very dangerous. So, okay, what we're going to do now is cut off a little bit. Make sure everything's good. We're good. Keep your fingers away from the blade. Anything to make something easier is what I like to do. So I'm going to mark out here where I need to be for the line that I'm going to cut. So it just gives me a little guide of where I need to be. So we're about there. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go back in with the sander and sand it all, file it down and whatever. So it does not need to be perfect right now. Here we go.
chainsaw will make things, will make life a hundred times easier. I, I don't know what I'd do without the bandsaw, to be honest with you. So now what we're going to do is take off this. thing to remember is let the bandsaw do the work. You don't need to rush this thing and you don't need to put like a huge amount of force on it. Let the bandsaw do the work. So we're going to do 5 mil on each side. There we go. And we're going to measure that up. So this will be a lot easier like this. There we go. Basically what we're doing now is veneering, but not to that extreme, we're not actually veneering it. So. That's not going to So we're going to have to be extra careful here. Pickups around. 
Nice. So that's one done. Now we gotta compensate a little bit. We gotta compensate a little bit because we did cut a little deeper in. So we gotta make sure that this is also um, five mil. And we're just short. So what we're gonna do now is remeasure it. gives a little bit of room here. There we go. Okay, so now we got our second line. around. Now afterwards I like to lower the blade down to the very end so that way there's nobody can mistake in um, putting their hand underneath there. All right so this is what we did we have two pickup surrounds now. Um, see that? That's what they're going to look like. Now what we do is we just go over it with some files and stuff like that. But that's basically how you do it. So there you have it. Um, I'm not going to go into full detail of what I'm doing. Um, that's just basically how you do it. That's how I do it. Um, so... Hopefully that was cool for y'all. Um, next time, we're actually going to be building the whole guitar. So you'll, you'll get to see that firsthand. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just go clean these up. And then I'll take a picture of it after and put it in the video for you so you can see the finished product. But there you go. Pickups Arounds. Yes, this is Native Puckle Guitars. And I'm out.